Heritage Series. Where'd I put them when I was doing my great dab? Hey guys, that's probably the longest I've ever done a video before talking. Yeah, I love hearing my voice. Hashtag roasted. So what's up guys, it's your boy. Today I'm showing you another WWE set review. This time it is the basic SummerSlam Heritage. So let's put our seatbelts on, get in the pool, and do this review. Sounds great, guys. So it wouldn't be the school of cool. School spelled S-K-U-L-E. Cool spelled Q-U with an umlaut L. Yep, that's right. We're spelling it crazy. This is Seth Rollins, Nikki Bella, The Rock, and Dusty Dusty Rhodes. WWE SummerSlam 2017 Heritage Series featuring all your favorite WWE superstars representing some incredible matches from the history of SummerSlam. So I'm betting most people want to see Seth Rollins reviewed first because he is very popular. This is a debut of a very cool attire, but I bet there are also some people that want to see Dusty Rhodes, so here's the deal. I'll kick off with The Rock. Someone that I bet no one really cares about because honestly he was the figure that I nearly left on the shelf But I bet if I reviewed the whole set I'd get so much more YouTube revenue be able to make this video over 10 minutes to maximize on my ka ka, -ka ching Payout so yep, that's right. I only do YouTube for the money never forget that guys here is the rock Dwayne the rock Johnson from SummerSlam 9 uh all right, so this is kind of stupid. They say the dates of everyone else except the dude you bought. Uh, what the heck, Mattel? You gotta look at the back of the other one. So this is from 1999. Hashtag classic Prince record. So let's open this up and check out this figure. This is like the most basic, basic rock. I think the head is, is very accessible and from certain angles, it certainly does look like the rock, but it seems to be lacking a lot of detail in there. Like it, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong at all. I see the rock in it, but there's just something off for me. Maybe his torso or something, but yeah, I don't know what it is with that face. Something though, like I see him there. I see him there. Maybe it's the eyebrow, even though like that's his classic move. Something about it. But the attire is just basic rock in silver. The back of it is the bulldog, the Brahma bulldog. But the coolest element of this figure, in my opinion, are the elbow pads. There's some interesting decals thrown on there that say, Lay the Smackdown, which actually, because that was hidden in the packaging of this figure, it made me think that this was less desirable. But I think now with these elbow pads with those printing on it, this is actually a pretty cool looking figure, but it's unfortunate that the, the most of the time you look at this figure, you're not gonna see that. Also, it's interesting to note that his tattoo has red eyes, so they're putting a little more detail than you'd expect into this figure release. His boots are the classic rock boots, so you're, you're getting that. And uh, overall, I'm, I'm very surprised that they, they did so much for these elbow pads because they look really cool from behind. But unfortunately, if you see this on the shelf, it's kind of a snooze fest. So I think this is the biggest surprise in this figure release line so far. So let's move on to someone else you might want to see reviewed. Seth freaking Rollins! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Just kidding, just kidding. Hold on, hold on guys. I'm doing Dusty Roads. We're doing old school. So what year is he from? Oh no, it doesn't say. 1990? SummerSlam? Was it what? Bash at the Beach or something? <laughs> no, it's probably SummerSlam. 1990. Your boy was only negative 12 years old at that point. So this is a Dusty Roads figure. Uh, I love his staining that we have there, or, or, or bruise, or whatever that is on him. But this is one of those body molds that I think uh, don't really translate that well to a basic figure. It, it's just very awkward. Uh, his Elite, I have it somewhere. I think it looks very good as an Elite. <clears throat> All right, guys, I'm the biggest freaking idiot. I can't even find the Elite. My bad about that. That's why we need to stay organized. Look at those boots. Very nice details going into those. Something you don't expect. For basic, they actually did go out with this guy. And is this his first basic? I'm gonna say no. I bet they've had this body mold sitting around. He did recently have an elite in that uh, Target exclusive Hall of Fame WCW ring with this guy, but I was a poo poo head and I didn't pick that up. But I do think the face accurately port portrays 
dusty roads in a nice uh, nice detail and you can see those cuts all in his head and stuff like that so they really really got a great scan on this guy great sculpt in there so I, I feel like if you're an old school fan you'll be really really pleased with this if you never picked one up because for ten dollars this is a pretty incredible looking figure but if you didn't and you're not interested you could pass on it, you know. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna force you to buy it. I'm not Tommy talks you into buying toys, travels, you know. But I think that this is a nice looking figure, and uh, I think Mattel did a good job with it. Thank you. Now it's time for Nikki Bella. You know, I'll be 100% honest with you guys. I feel like this figure's already been released. It seems just like every other Nikki Bella figure. But I'm going to make some assumptions about this. This is the first time we're getting blue socks, and this is the first time we're getting this hat design. That could be wrong, but whatever. This is a very recent one. Uh, what is this, 2015? 2016. So we're getting two representatives of the 2016 Super Slam. This is Nikki mode. It comes with a hat that says stay fearless. Fits on the front of her head. We can zoom in so you can catch a couple of those details in there. This is basically every other Nikki Bella figure we've ever received. Uh, they really didn't update much about it. Just changed some decals. You know, it's one of those things where it's like if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But you also kind of want to progress in life as a, a company or something. So I do like her shoes. I like the sculpt of those socks. And it does say Stay Fearless and Nikki Bella. So you're getting some nice printed detail on those. Unfortunately, on the shoes on the bottom, if you can see that there, I am getting some paint rub off, with, which allows this to become like a classic Tommy Toy Travels review. But it's always a bummer when that happens on your figure. But on the back, you can see Bella 02. But it's a plot twist. It took place in 2016, not 2002. But I think that this is a, a good figure if you if you don't have a Nikki Bella because the colors seem to work very well. But if you already have a Nikki Bella, I don't I don't know if you need to pick up another one unless you're a, a team of a Bella Army member. If you get what I'm saying, Primo. And then last but not least, you knew I was gonna wait to show this last. It's Seth freaking Rollins from 2016. The cringe compilation of a figure. Uh, first problem with it is that, uh, I don't know, the color they picked, the, the detail, the decals, the paint, whatever, doesn't look that great. It's kinda, kinda applied kinda sloppily. Like on the, the pants, it's fine, but the knee pads, uh, it, it just doesn't look good and it feels like a paint that they didn't finalize in there or something it feels like it's gonna chip off and On the boots you can see like lines down the middle, but they got the color pretty accurate Some people love this face some people hate this face. I'll say seeing it in person It's not that bad from this angle. I can see Seth Rollins in there but if I were to choose a screaming face, this wouldn't be one of my favorites. I think it's let down from an angle like this, but once you start looking up at it, I think it works really well, but most of the time you're gonna have this figure looking straight on, and unlike an Elite, there is no ab crunch to make his head go back, and because the head is so weird, uh, it really lacks articulation, and it might be a bit too large in my opinion. Uh, but it's certainly successful from certain angles, but most of them it just looks way too large on this body and other than that it's it's like a suitable figure but i know that this is going to be released as an elite soon so i don't really see the need to pick up this variant unless you want thick legs on your seth rollins which i know i always do so i think that this is a good figure it's just marred by some weird paint applications and things like that but I showed you four figures, am I right or am I wrong? None of these figures were screamingly bad, but none of them were like run out and buy them right away good. So it really depends on you and your opinions and your taste in the figures. I showed you them as best as I could in this video, but obviously you'll make your opinion. You'll have your favorite wrestlers and you'll know which one you'll want to buy. I don't really recommend any of these because I feel like we've already gotten a lot of figures that are similar. Like, of course, if you don't have a Dusty Rhodes, this is the one to pick up because it's very rare to get a figure of him. 
and the same with Nikki Bella, but it seems like they're really pushing women figures, so this might not be the last Nikki Bella we get. And that rock is good because of his elbow pads, but the rest of the figures kind of met. And Seth, I, you know, it's a cool attire, but we're getting an elite of it, so do you really want to bust out the money for it now, or do you want to save up and get the more expensive one later? It's up to you guys, but that was my opinion. You have an opinion. Let me know your opinion in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, and don't forget, the School of Cool is just starting, guys. So many more reviews coming right at you. Thank you for watching this. You're all my best friends forever for life.